Hi everyone. If you would like to know how to search for Active Inspire flip chart lessons that other teachers from around the globe have created, or you would like to find more resources to go into your Active Inspire library of resources, then this is the video for you. To find both of these things, we're going to need to go into the Classflow website. So if you go to www.classflow.com in a web browser um, and log in or create an account if you don't already have one, um, it takes a couple of minutes and it's free to join. So I'm just going to click log in here. And I'm going to go to the Marketplace tab at the top. So this is the place I can go and find heaps and heaps of resources. So there's loads of different kinds of file formats that um, are saved on the Marketplace, from Classflow lessons through to flip charts, through to, um, well, let's have a look. In fact, if I come down on the left-hand side here, you can see all of the different types of file formats that we have saved up on here. And we're going to be looking for flip charts that other teachers have made. Okay, now you'll see that the, um, uh, the area on the right is repopulating itself according to what um, refinements I put on my search. You'll notice that it is literally all around the world that these um, resources have come in from. So one other thing I might do, oops, excuse me, I'm just going to scroll to the bottom and choose English so that the flip charts are all English. Okay. Um, I might choose a grade level, let's say grade five, and I might give a keyword search at the top here as well. So I might say fractions, all right. And you can see the list of my um, refinement options along here. So then I can scroll through and have a look and see which ones uh, look like they might be suitable. When I select one, let's just say this one, it takes me to a preview. So I can see that there's a flip chart, it has nine pages, I can scroll through these and see if this is the sort of thing that is relevant to me. If it is, what I do is I choose this option here, as you can see it's the only option on my page, to add to my resources. If I click that, okay, it shouldn't take too long because this one didn't look like it was a particularly large file. I can now find that here in my resources folder. So if I click here, my marketplace folder, right, so I just double clicked on my marketplace folder and you can see here, this is the um, fractions flip chart I've just downloaded there or just had a look at. And over here, this is where I can then download it. All right. So it is, it is a double step download, but um, it's still great that we can have those resources there. So I went from Marketplace, where I did a search for um, the type of resource I wanted, and this time I'm going to search for an Active Inspire resource pack. And in particular, I might choose, um, let's say, I want the Australian wow. money or the New Zealand money. My hint for searching with a keyword is you've got to keep it very broad and in fact I would put Australia or New Zealand to see what resource packs are available for our countries. Um, as you can see here there are some specific to Australia and Australian culture and I know that the Australian money is here so I'm going to click on that. Once again, the only option I've got is to add to my resources. Now the difference here, I haven't got any pages to scroll through because a resource pack is like a, imagine it's like a zipped folder full of goodies and those goodies might be images, they might be sound bites, they might be video clips, they might be ready-made pages, they might be bits of text to pull onto a flip chart page. 
So any type of file could be in a resource pack. It's literally a pack of resources collected about a topic. In this instance, it's going to be images of notes and coins in the Australian currency. Um, so I'm going to click Add to my resources. I'm going to wait for that to add. Then I'm going to go to my resources tab at the top here. Click on that. Find my marketplace folder. I double click on that. And here's my Australian money pack. And I'm going to download like so. Now you can see down here that um, here's my fractions flip chart that I had a look at and downloaded before. So if I'm going to open that, I just double click on it and there it is ready to use. Okay. Um, let me pop back to here. My Australian money pack, I can do the same thing for this. I can just double click on it and it asks me where I want to save that. So if I want to put it into my shared resources or my my resources. Now this is your choice. Some people prefer to put it in their my resources so that when they're going to update their laptop after three years or so, they know that their My Resources folder is in their My Documents area. So they just go in, they copy all of their My Documents and transfer it across onto their new computer. Other people prefer to put it into their shared resources because they know it's a quick and easy download of that same file. That file's not going anywhere. Um, they can just load it into the software again on a new computer. I will put it in my shared resources, although it will tell me I've already got it. So I'll say no to all. But I can then find that in my library under shared, under, let me scroll down a little bit, resource packs and Australian money, for instance, here. And I've now got a folder of coins that I can drag on if I want. And of course, let me just scroll down here a bit, notes as well. So resource packs are packs of extra stuff to put into your Active Inspire library that you can pull out and help to build lessons. And the flip charts are the ready-made lesson plans or lessons or resources for lessons that teachers have put in a flip chart format that they've saved onto that ClassFlow marketplace website.